Hello everybody, this is Uncloud Mars 05. Welcome back to Equals MC3. Except we are playing Minecraft today, and today we are playing Terraria. Terraria is a game kinda like Minecraft except it's two-dimensional. There's me, there's the guide. I've played this game a little bit before. Not a whole lot. So I'm gonna start a let's play. Hopefully, it will help you figure out how to do whatever it is you do in this game. Die slimes. So, if you've played Minecraft or seen my. Minecraft videos, um, then you'll know what we do for the most part. Do lots of tutorials and multiplayer stuff. There's a multiplayer option here, I don't know if I'll be able to play multiplayer or not. Die slimes. So it's a lot like Minecraft and the fact that there's day and night and monsters and stuff, so I'll have to start building a house. I'm a little vampire guy with a cool cape. Cut down some trees. We craft stuff. Oh, oh, here we go. Little platforms and a workbench. So when you're at a crafting bench thing, you can craft a lot more stuff. I can open up a whole bunch of stuff. So when you have a crafting bench and a chair. You have all sorts of different crafting recipes. I can craft some more and stuff. Let's go cut down some more trees before it's night. So you pretty much just point at the block you want to destroy. I think control changes it to where it'll automatically highlight the block that you'll logically destroy next. some tools and stuff. I think these flowers you can use to make dye and stuff. Ooh, shiny. There's some more down here. On here you can jump a lot higher than you can on Minecraft. Like I'm jumping over half my height. Or over twice my height. There's even a chest down here. Nice. There's a couple versions of this game. There's the console version, and then there's the PC version, which is what I'm playing right now. I also have the console version, and that's what I've played before. Like, I just recently, yesterday, started playing the PC version of Terraria. And there is quite a few differences. Wild guide to plant fiber cordage. What? <laughs> That's weird. Um, so it is a clippable. So put it in these slots here. For accessories. And your armor. This is stuff that you wear. That it will. It doesn't give you the effect, but it shows you have it. And some dye and stuff. So let's dig up this chest. Yeah, that book thing wasn't on the console version. There's a whole lot of stuff that I haven't um, found on here since this one's quite a bit different from the console. Let's get a whole bunch of ore out of 
Tell Bill to craft some tools or something. Villagers or NPCs on here will actually fight back against hostile mobs, which is nice. Use an axe because it spins in a circle rather than pointing in a straight line. Die, 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 die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. My extremities were detached by a blue slime. Thanks for to respawn here. Yeah. Not even shows my last death. It even says how long ago I died there. Nice. In case I wanted to, I don't know. I don't know what the use of that would be. Remembering when you died. Unless if you got lost in the middle of nowhere, you'd want to know where it was you died. That slime almost killed me again. Why is it sparkling? Again! Stupid slime. Oh, it has one health though, so I should be able to kill it fairly easily when I come back. Uh, the cave extends that way. Yes, slime. Uncover the map for me. Let's get my money back. Take that. I don't have any light, but I can craft some torches. Ooh, holding torches in your hand makes them light up. That's nice. I wish I did that on Minecraft. There's a demolitionist who sells explosives. I think that sounds pretty awesome. So hopefully we'll be able to get him. I'm more of those evil blue slime things. I've seen blue slimes and green slimes. I was looking at the achievements yesterday and I think one of them has killed all 25 types of slimes. How is there going to be 25 types of slime? Giant ones and things. Die slimes. This is working quite well. Yes, keep jumping towards me. Do 
away from my weird little villager people. And yeah, there you can see it shoot an arrow. Houses have to be six bucks. Oh, wait, wait, no, do that. Oh, because I have that automatic. And I'm targeting thing. They need to be six bucks tall and ten wide. That's that six. That's six, six. And then this is probably enough. But I need to get out. and stuff. Otherwise, it doesn't work, something like that. Okay, do we have any torches? I have them in here. No, I need to craft some torches. Where are torches? Are there at the top? Nice and lit up in here. And if we click housing, we can make him move in here. No. Build a house, suitable for an NPC. So I've gotten four. Discover and smash the first heart crystal. Obtain an anvil. I am loot. Discover a golden chest. All sorts of weird stuff. Smash a demon or crimson altar with a powerful holy hammer. Unleash the ancient spirits of light and darkness across the world, enabling much stronger foes and showering the world with dazzling treasure and rainbows. Here. Thank is that thing. The wall of flesh. Hmm. Camera mode. Huh. Maybe once I'm done building a castle or something, I can take screenshots of it. Pets. Light pet, minecart, mount, grappling hook. Weird. There's all sorts of crazy stuff in this game. Come on, guide, move in. Wait, I have a furnace I can put down. Zombie. Let's have 
copper ore, so I should be able to craft some copper ingots or something. Alright. Okay. What do I do with these? Can I craft anything out of them? So you have to have an anvil before you can craft stuff out of tools. Hammers are actually pretty good weapons. They're better than the copper stuff you start out with. Like an annoying copper short sword. There isn't, um... Yeah, what are they called? Enchantments? Like they are on Minecraft. But there is modifiers. This one's a quick one. Gives plus 11 speed. That one's annoying. Minus 20 damage and 15 speed. For some reason, wood stuff on here is sometimes better than the... Oh no, I'm destroying my house. Nice, nice. Oh no, they're getting into my house! Stupid zombies. Uh. Uh. Ah, man! I made my world an expert mode one since it said there would be better treasure. I probably shouldn't have done that. from the zombies. Oh, no more zombies with sticks or something. You don't think cool over here? This is a jump! I love the jumping on you. You can jump so high. always have cool treasure and stuff on the inside. But this video is almost 20 minutes long, so I will wrap this up once I'm regenerated or whatever. And there he goes, now he's living in my house. That's empty all my stuff in there. Anyway, thank you for watching. In my next video, I'll go find that house. I haven't tested the audio, so hopefully this works okay. What the heck? Is he talking to me? Weird. Well, I will see you next time, everybody. Bye!